you tell me what YouTuber in their right mind would be willing to give up on a quarter million subscribers and re-upload all their old videos that got tons of millions of views. I wanted to explain why the sudden shift in content to a brand new YouTube channel. Why did I delete all the Philippines videos from the traveling clad? Folks, my friends, welcome back to Shargao. That is a line I've been waiting to say for a very long time. <laughs> I am back on the island of Shargao and I'm actually right in front of my old stomping grounds here, uh, what used to be called Arca Haya Haya Resort, which is now known as Happiness Beach Resort. Last time I made a vlog here, I was standing on the beach after the destruction of Typhoon Odette and I showed you guys this place right as I was leaving, had a pretty terrible experience. You can see how much the island has bounced back, but just by the little bit that I'm showing you right now, but I'm very excited. We're going to show you guys a little bit of an update today on the island and give you a little bit of an update on what the heck is going on with this channel. Why is there a new channel? Why did I delete all the Philippines videos from the traveling clad? We got a lot to talk about, let's jump into it. This is the old resort that I used to live in, uh, which is now known as Happiness Beach Resort. And actually my old room, which was right here, uh, where I lived for pretty much two years, just right here in this room. This all used to be sand, and during the typhoon, obviously all of this got completely flooded with ocean water and has now made a huge, massive comeback. It's, it's insane. And you guys can totally stay here. This resort has been open for months now. It's completely revamped. Events and parties that happen here every week. Tons of great food. Really, really, really cool experience of staying here. And you can see again, like for those of you guys who watch this channel while I was living here, the utter destruction from when the last time I was here in a vlog, it was insane. You know, like all of this is brand new construction, revamped tons of beautiful flowers and plants just just amazing we got a return of our favorite character it's the walmart jason momoa Hello. ladies and gentlemen <laughs> our knockoff aquaman how are you how have you been good and you i'm okay You're it's nice to see you again after a long time i like you i like you very much i like you more. also maxim technically you were there at the end of the series how are you doing i'm good brother you like me i like you i like you very much it's very nice We've got some more, uh, we've got new characters. Hi! This is Shaoli. Shaoli. Hi! And Shimon. Shimon Bar Yochai. Shimon Bar Yochai. <laughs> Since this island has come back to tourism, there has been a wave, a massive wave of Israelis that have moved in here and living here. Uh, and as I was saying, this has now been renamed as Happiness Beach Resort. You can see this is kind of what they promoted as, happiness. This place where we actually survived the typhoon inside of this building which was at the time just the proposed happiness hostel now it's completely finished was uh it's, it's open now it's actually a restaurant and a hostel that you can come and stay at this is uh this was my old stomping grounds on this island this is where i lived for a very very long time and it's surreal to be back here and seeing just everything put together in one piece looking really really beautiful so this is the floor where most of the action happened and they're very 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 close to finishing this up Take it out. Like this hallway, we are crowded here, maybe like 45 people. Oh yeah. Can I, can I open? Puede? So get You can see in this room, specifically, I've talked about this before. There's a uh, Jewish prayer that you do uh, when you know you're about to die. When, when you think your life is over and it's finally done. This room is where I said that prayer for the first time in my life. I was sitting up here in the bunk, we were crowded, I don't know, maybe like 25 people in this room with dogs, rain, water, everything was rushing in, it was so bad. And I said the prayer for the first time in my life. I was prepared for it to be over. So every time, again, I come here and I see it happy and green and glowing, it's got a completely different context and a completely different meaning to it now. Um, but again, this place is nearly open and nearly ready to host you guys. So. If you do come to Shargao anytime soon, check out Happiness Beach Resort, check out Happiness Hostel and the restaurant. Okay, now for the interesting stuff. I wanted to talk about a little bit about what the hell is going on with the traveling clad and Buhaini Tal and what all this means and the channel changes. It's time it's time to talk about it. We gotta let's crack into it. I came back to the Philippines and I came back to Shargao for one reason and one reason only, and that is to finish my tiny house. You guys remember at the end of the typhoon series, my tiny house sustained some pretty serious damage, including the roof and the ceiling completely flying off. I've been I've spent so much time in the Philippines. I've wanted to explore other parts of Southeast Asia for so long now that uh that I really feel like it's something I wanna finish 
and, and move on with my life for a little while outside of the Philippines, experience something other than the Philippines and Southeast Asia for a little bit, and then find my heart and my way back here slowly. The experience of leaving here after the typhoon is something that I've had a lot of time obviously to work through mentally and work through all the trauma and all the experience of it. So it's been, it's been months, you know, it's been over a year since that uh, has happened. And without giving exactly too much detail on what's been going on with the tiny house, because there will be more, more videos of that coming in the future, I wanted to explain why the sudden shift in content to a brand new YouTube channel, why did I delete all the Philippines videos from the traveling clad. I want to open up by saying that a lot of you guys can be very mean. <laughs> After the typhoon, we got, we got blamed for raising money and treated so horribly in the comment section of a lot of these videos. It's, it was very disheartening and even after the typhoon ended and I started uploading videos of the tiny house being constructed and all the construction that we worked on, I was being blamed for re-uploading old videos, which I never did. I was being blamed for trying to make money out of the Philippines while not being in the Philippines, which doesn't really make sense because I was just uploading videos that I had shot before the typhoon. It chronologically didn't work. I got blamed for a lot of shit that was just really like, it was very mean. And then on top of that, when I made the decision to finally take down the videos from the traveling clad that were Philippines based and re-upload them to a new home on YouTube, a new channel, I got blamed and I got torn apart for trying to make more money off of old videos, which I never made. <laughs> like, if you look at the videos on Buhay Nital, the videos that I had literally millions of views on on the traveling clad have gotten a hundred views, 500 views. That doesn't mean money. You don't make money off of that little amount of views. So just to set the record straight, I'm not in the Philippines to make money. I don't stay here or live here to make money. The YouTube stuff, while it started as a venture to make money and gain subscribers, I've talked about it. My life has changed by living here. I've made a family and I've got new friends and I've you know built a home. It's, it's a completely different situation at this point. I'm not one of those YouTubers that came here for the, that stays here for the clickbait. I did come here for the clickbait. I always will admit that, but I didn't stay here for that reason. That's why the videos, when you watch my videos, they're not overly quick, clickbaity with the emotional this and I can't believe this happened and this. It's just me being me and showing you my experience of living here, especially on this tiny little crazy island, Chargao. For those of you guys who deemed it so necessary to be so mean, especially the process of re-uploading my old traveling clap videos to Buhay Nital, and I, to be fair, I didn't give an explanation because I was waiting to make this video. I. Uh, all I ask is just chill. I don't know why a lot of times you guys assume the absolute worst of me because my intentions are really pure when it comes to this stuff. I have got no evil plan to make a bunch of money off of the Philippines. It's just not the reality. Uh, I have a perfectly good job travel vlogging around other places in the world where luckily for me, I don't have to rely just on the Philippines to make money, you know, to, to make an income. This is a different thing for me now. My, my, my life, a big portion of it takes place here on this island. Uh, and I'm not here for the views and for the money. That's why I felt so uncomfortable starting a new YouTube channel, knowing that I'm starting from zero again. You tell me what YouTuber in their right mind would be willing to give up on a quarter million subscribers and re-upload all their old videos that got tons of millions of views just to restart from zero. And I realized this on my first trip to the Philippines in 2018-17, that when I, and I know this happens to a lot of other foreigners who vlog here, but when I leave the Philippines, my Filipinos viewers, they stop watching my videos for the most part. And I've talked about this very publicly. It's a known thing. A lot of times when you come to a country like the Philippines or a place like India or Sri Lanka and you make content as a foreigner there, when you leave that country, the viewers stop watching. This is not something I need to overly explain. You guys know it. I know it. It's just the reality of the situation. And so I realized that for me to continue travel vlogging on the traveling clad, actually traveling the world and making content, me staying only in the Philippines or making only videos in the Philippines is kind of shooting myself in the leg. Like I will never be able to actually make money on that channel, get brand deals, do what I love to do if I have a strong Filipino presence on that YouTube channel. And I realize that it makes so much more sense for me to just segregate these two parts of my life. My traveling clad thing can be one thing where I travel around the world and my Philippine stuff can be another thing where I have a life based here in the Philippines. Got a tiny house that I'm building, I've got my chickens, I've got my life here, and who knows what else is gonna happen for me. But I see myself moving forward, living a dual existence between this island, Chargao, and other places around the world. So what's the point of putting it all and trying to shove it all into one box when it's clearly not working for me? For other YouTubers, it works. I've seen other YouTubers stay here and then travel to places like Japan and Korea and Thailand and still be able to pull off views and get views. It just never has worked for me, you know? It's just not something that's ever worked for me. So I made the decision to delete all 
the videos from the traveling clat that have to do with the Philippines besides the Typhoon Odette series because I was just so proud of those and I really wanted those to live on my main channel. It's just also such an epic story from start to finish. I'm really proud of like the seven episodes we put together with the raising money and the monologues and everything. Everything else I decided to take it down from the traveling clat and re-upload it on a new home called Buhay Ni Tal, which translates to the life of Tal in Filipino. Now if you're not Filipino, which a majority of you guys are Filipino watching these videos, I know I can see by the analytics, I know this might be a very weird move because some of you guys just enjoy me watching watching me living in the Philippines. doesn't matter if you're Filipino or not. I think it makes so much more sense for me every time I come to the Philippines, let me just vlog on my Philippines channel. To me, it makes so much more sense. And the subscriber number, again, doesn't really matter to me. I've, I've gotten so many views. I think I've gotten maybe like 10 or 15 million views across Facebook and YouTube from the Philippines. I've reached tons of people. We've been to like 65 provinces, traveled like a majority of this country, really been and done amazing things. I feel fulfilled, like my heart really feels fulfilled from creating content in the Philippines. Moving forward, the videos that you'll see from me in the Philippines will either be strictly exploring new places that I haven't been to that I'm still interested in, things like Zamboanga and other places in Mindanao, or just my life here in Chargao, promoting local businesses here, promoting my friends' places, promoting my own place. The, the content is going to take a very radical shift. It's not going to be any more foreigner in the Philippines, this foreigner in the Philippines, that. While I might use those titles sometimes to get views, that's not going to be the point of the content anymore. Buhay Nital, the point of it is to show you guys my life here in this country and specifically on this island and, and how important it is to me to continue my journey and my story here on this island. So with all about that being said, I wanted to show you guys the inside of this hostel and how beautiful it looks now. Being uh, nearly completely done especially this downstairs area it's just amazing with the restaurant and the pool and they can take you guys out to tours here they can rent surfboards to you island hopping trips it's it's pretty much everything that you want in one package here just here across the street and right in front they've got literally everything that you need to make your stay in Shargao as amazing as possible okay and so to end this video here and just to clearly put out my thoughts and exactly what's gonna be happening moving forward. The Traveling Clat will no longer have Philippines videos anymore. For those of you guys who the Traveling Clat is irrelevant for, this doesn't really matter anyways, but Buhay Nital, this channel, my new home for everything Philippines and everything that I ever do in the Philippines moving forward will be found right here on this YouTube channel. I have no intention of making money per se or making tons of subscribers and blowing up this channel like I did with the Traveling Clat. This channel is purely for fun. If money happens and I can make money doing it, it's great. It is costing me money to run it because I need to hire editors and stuff like that, but the idea of this channel is never to make it larger than life. It's gonna be very humble and it's just more of a side thing just to show you guys what my life is like when I'm here and when I'm not here. Maybe I'll just talk about tips and tricks and stuff that I've learned while traveling in the Philippines. Again, if it does well, I'm happy. If it doesn't, I'm content with it as well because I know looking back, I just recently watched a lot of the videos that I re-uploaded on Buhay Nital, especially of my first travels in the Philippines with my friends Borja and Daphne. And I'm so happy that I documented those experiences. They're so funny and so fulfilling and heartwarming to watch them back. The friends that I met along the way, the adventures that I had. Uh, to me, this is more of just documenting my life here in this country. Hopefully one day I can show my kids if I don't get a chance to bring them here, or maybe I do either way, just what life was like here. And to me, again, a big part of this channel will be documenting life in Chargao, showing this island, how it's developing, because this place is my home and my heart is so seriously attached to this island that I wanna make sure everything I can do to promote my friends' businesses, promote uh, cool projects that are happening here and tourism generally to this island so people know how amazing this place is. Um, the tiny house Chargao, construction is, will be resuming in the next episode and it's going to be a very long series of construction coming up moving forward so strap in it's very emotional it's an up and down journey for many months uh, but it's going to be exciting because we're going to get this house done for now if you want any updates on the tiny house you can follow tiny house Chargao on instagram i'll leave a link in the description or buhay nital on instagram as well and we'll see you guys in the next one goodbye